Hi, welcome to Skyview Entertainment. My name is Ben, I'm the co-founder and CEO. And I'm Michael, I'm lead designer. Alright, so we're going to be answering questions today. I'm eating a Jolly Rancher apple uh, right now, so I apologize to keep some energy and sugar. Alright, so we're going to start with Battle Bears Royale questions first, followed by Battle Bears Zero questions, and then um, I'll do other things. We're really happy that everybody uh, submitted their okay. So do you think you could add colored huggable skin to Royale? The problem with that is with Royale, we need like a very defined red and blue team color. So if we were to add different color huggables, it would be hard to to make sure at a glance um, you're finding the right color. Um, why does the huggable class have the headlights with them labeled as explosives and yet it only gets improved by bullet damage? And then, why are none of the other huggable primary weapons able to be given damage bonuses? You're asking questions that I'm not even sure of, um, yeah. and I've, I've looked into it. Uh, we'll see if we can get that changed around. The huggable is supposed to be like a different type of um, play style, though, so we wanted to be focusing on some things and not others. So um, I think a lot of those decisions were made at the last moment and not really thought through all the way. Well, the huggable remain a mystery in many, in many circles. Um, only, only, only the deepest, deepest of Sky Blue employees knows the, the secrets behind them. And those deaths are not within either of us. No, not even me. Okay, so, uh, what are the new multiplayer modes that we can look forward to? Well, well you've seen Plant the Bomb in 1.3. Uh, beyond that, we have nothing definitive planned, um, but we'll try going. go on. Remember to spread the word that Plant the Bomb used to be called Capture the Flag, and it's even better than Capture the Flag, so... If anybody's asking for capture the flag, it's plant the bomb, baby. And it's yeah. going to be awesome. <laughs> right. So can you make the stats uh, have numbers instead of meters? Uh, we could. Uh, we felt like keeping it to meters would be the best option for quickly uh, comparing things. We didn't want people to get like tied down with exact numbers. And we also change these by little bits all the time. So we just wanted them to be kind of fluid. Uh, what are the numbers to reach for each rank? Uh, that is a uh, we may to be in the street, I believe. We don't want to. We're, yeah. still, we're still fluctuating, so we don't we don't want to uh, set anything in stone at this point in time. And we change those as well okay. if we notice bouncing. Will, will we add grenades? I don't think so. No, um, I, don't think so. I think that the controls and the notice notification that they're like on the field um, will be a big, pretty big challenge that we're not going to address. Yeah. Will you make Battle Bears Royale for Android? Uh, yes, we will eventually make it for Android. No, no timetables on that yet, so, but it's coming. And it'll be cross-platform. Yeah. So, uh, does Will specialize in health or speed? Right now he's all of health. Uh, he's, he's probably in between Oliver and uh, Tillman in terms of ability, health, and speed. Um, so he's definitely special. Um, so, how does the story of new secondary work, uh, secondary weapon work and look like? Uh, she has the Dreamcatcher, which is the landmine. Uh, you can place uh, a few down depending on how many uh, ammo power-ups you have. And when an enemy walks over it, or if you detonate it, um, they will have their controls reversed for a few seconds. And it really screws you up. It looks really cool, so be careful when you step. Uh, does Plant the Bomb mode have a time limit, or is it until the bomb is planted? Currently, uh, the bomb mode lasts for eight minutes instead of uh, team battles uh, five minute duration. Um, the bombs have timers, and we're still tweaking those numbers, but they'll blow up after a certain amount of time and then respawn. So, how does one get on the beta testing test? Well, uh, unfortunately, the ship has sailed, but from time to time, we will be posting on our forum and on Facebook asking for invites. But the whole process is pretty clunky, so we don't do it too often. Yeah, so just keep checking in. Um, but thank you for everybody who applied for sure. Uh, are you going to change the controls for Battle Bears Royale to the same controls in Battle Bears Negative 1? We're going to one-up you on that one. We're, we actually made it even better in 1.3, so... Yeah, we're going for more uh, of a tried and true system. So it'll be like uh, Negative 1, but a little tighter. Can you add more game modes and options for matches, such as setting time limit, etc.? That'll be one of the elements that we add when we do like custom games and like friend games. Being a, like that would allow people to turn friendly fire on and off and pick which level they play on and stuff like that. So down the road, but it's planned. Are there going to be videos of the new game mode? It's, people might be posting stuff up right now, even on the forum. Yeah. Um, fans are so. You know, I don't know if we'll have time necessarily to get some video out, but if we do, we will. We'll try our best to do that. Okay, so Battle Bear Zero. Uh, really excited about this. Uh, 
will Dalvey Zero have a Mac version available via the App Store? I don't think we, we currently don't have that in the works yet. So um, uh, we'll keep a close eye on the Mac App Store and see how well it goes. But um, currently, there's no plans for that. Uh, what characters are going to be in Battle Bay Zero? Well, uh, don't want to don't want to spoil too much, but there's Will. <laughs> Will and a few others. And a few others. Um, people you know and people you don't know. Uh, the game used to be titled Will's Finest Hour. So Battle Bear Zero, Will's Finest Hour is the subtitle. Uh, when is Battle Bear Zero coming out? Um, definitely not in the next month or so. Um, looking at a, a summer release, um, probably mid to late summer. So uh, we, We're definitely hunkering down and putting more effort into it to make sure it's awesome. Alright. Uh, when will beta testing for Battle Bear Zero start? Probably around that time. Yeah. <laughs> so, future Battle Bears games, Battle Bears negative two? Uh, possibly. I mean, we do have a lot of backstory to this, and we might go into a Battle Bears negative two, but my immediate thoughts are probably, you know, to continue on moving forward. So, Battle Bears two, then three, then four. Uh, peppered in with some some action games like Battle Bears Royale that are not story related, and then some casual games. Um, Loosely based on the Battle Bears um, characters and franchise. Um, other Battle Bears stuff. How long did it take to make Battle Bears Negative One? So long ago, I don't even remember. Yeah, you don't remember. Let's see. Um, it was <laughs> like six months or so, but then. Yeah, I do know that we were in a house. Yeah, originally it was going to be a top down game, and then we changed that. So. Yeah, including the original design, maybe yeah. seven or eight months total. Have you thought about making a new new characters and places? Yeah, yeah we have. Um, have All you often. Yeah, did you ever update the comics app with new comics? Uh, we're not sure yet on that. Um, that's still kind of in flux. Um, will there be updates for Battle Bird Negative One to improve and extend the game? Uh, that is down the road. I am thinking about it, um, but it's not on our priority list at the moment. Um, Battle Bear Zero will fill in some critical gaps, so I won't say that for sure. If the mission of the mystical treasures is complete in Battle Bear Negative 1, what will happen in Battle Bear Negative 2? I think you're, you're backwards you're here. You're backwards there, yeah. So the mystical treasure arc would probably be done in, uh, in 2. 2, Battle Bear 2. Yeah. Negative 2, you know, you're going the wrong way. Yeah. So, store, are there any merchandise in stock? No, there isn't. We got rid of most of it at Comic-Con, unfortunately. Uh, but we do have a special deal that's in the works um, that's going to go worldwide. Um, but I can't give any more details of that, but there's lots more merchandise coming, and you guys are going to love it. Uh, will you ever release a centaur bear plushie uh, or add one in the game? I think I know who's asking this question. <laughs> and, sir, I want to bring you a centaur bear. So let me work on that. Guy Vu, uh, will we be at Comic-Con San Diego this year? Unfortunately, we will not be. I made that decision uh, because we need to really, really focus on completely making our games completely awesome for you. And I decided to allocate all of our resources from everybody in the studio to buckle down and work on Battle Bears Zero and Battle Bears Royale updates. So, uh, how come I don't see the Sky Blue people on my stream anymore? Uh. Yeah, right now they're on live stream, partially because this question reminded <laughs> us, but uh, for about a month or two, uh, artists were working on um, parts of the cutscene that dealt with like spoilers in the end of the game, so we don't want to give any of that away. Um, right now, though, we're working on Royale stuff full time, so they'll be making all of their work available, uh, like changing artists every day. Yeah. Uh, we'd love for you to join in and you know give us your, your, your feedback. The original dream for Battle Bears was for a movie. Is this dream still alive? Yes, it is still alive. And there's some things in the works that I can't go into full details on, but it's possibly even bigger than a movie. So uh, just keep your eyes uh, open to uh, upcoming news on our Facebook page, and I can't wait to tell you guys uh, what's, what's going on. There's some big stuff. Uh, if you're stranded on a desert island with all video game consoles, but you can only pick three games to play, <laughs> What are your three? Okay, so going first, uh, I would have Minecraft. I would have is an that available on console. The question is, all video games. I would console. consider a computer console. So getting I that think, out I of the way. But that's what you <laughs> I would have Minecraft first and foremost. I'd probably take uh, MMO. Uh, would you build an island? 
I, I would first set out to recreate my living conditions. I would plan out a house or hut using only the materials available to me and then build it in real life to survive. Um, I'd pick an MMO just because, well, maybe, maybe there's no internet connection. Oh, uh, <laughs> right. oh, too many. Single player. Where's multiplayer? Uh, okay, wait, hold on. Would you, I have to would you pick my DVR? Okay. Uh, now that there's no internet connection. There's no internet connection. It has to be a console. Although I do think that the iPad, you know, and stuff are, are going to be infiltrating the console market. So you might even call the iPad a console. But um, my I guess the only game that comes to mind would be um, is Paper Mario. Uh, you know, yeah. that's a console game, and, and that comes that qualifies. Mario Kart and um, you know um, I don't know I've been just so into the Battle Bears games that I haven't been able to think too much about anything. Uh, although we've been studying Resident Evil 4 lately yeah. I do Metro 2033 also yeah. not many people appreciate that game and uh, another single player game man I just don't have any single player games on my mind that wraps that up yep, shout out right. <laughs> alright guys thank you so much uh, Stay tuned for more news. Yep.